Picture the exhilarating experience of stepping into a high-performance, ultra-luxurious car, a machine that seems to vibrate with life as it powers down the open road. Imagine catching the breathless stares of pedestrians, their eyes widening in awe and admiration. This isn't just any car, it's a dream turned reality, born in 1931, evolving with the times, yet never losing its original allure. Welcome back to Ignition Life, your pit stop for all things automotive. In today's episode, we're hitting the accelerator and delving deep into the iconic history of a brand that is synonymous with speed, style and sophistication. It is of course the one and only Porsche. Join us as we venture into the heart of Porsche's rich legacy, an odyssey through time, tracing the evolution of this automotive titan from its early days to its crowning achievements in the modern era. We'll navigate the complex maze of their visionary designs, from the humble beginnings to the soaring heights of success. We'll also shed light on some fun facts, historic inventions, and a few firsts of this revolutionary automaker. So strap yourself in, fire up those engines, and get ready to explore the riveting world of Porsche and its epic history. Picture this, it's 1931, and three guys are on a mission. They go by the names of Ferdinand Porsche, Adolf Rosenberger, and Anton Piesch. And they're not just wanting to make cars, they're itching to turn the automotive world on its head. Their journey starts in the bustling German town of Stuttgart. Their trailblazing spirit was already blazing trails right out of the gate. You know those cool, silent, electric Teslas everyone's driving these days? Well, Ferdinand Porsche was tinkering around with that idea over a hundred years ago. Back in 1899, he designed the Lona Porsche, hailed by many as the first ever electric vehicle and beating Elon Musk to the punch by more than a century. In the early days, Porsche's game plan wasn't about manufacturing their own line of cars. Instead, they were the brains behind vehicle development and consulting. They even designed the Volkswagen Beetle, aiming to create a car for the everyman. The Beetle became a worldwide sensation, solidifying Porsche's reputation for creating something that wasn't just functional, but had a certain pizzazz, a standout moment in car history. When World War II reared its ugly head, Porsche had to switch gears, literally, and they started building military vehicles. They crafted everything from the lightweight Kubelwagen and the amphibious Schwimmwagen to heavy hitters like the Tiger One tank. Even after the war, the Tiger's chassis got a second life in the Elephant Tank Destroyer. As the dust of war began to settle, Ferdinand Porsche found himself behind bars for war crimes, and that's when his son Ferry Porsche stepped into his dad's boots. Now Ferry was a picky guy when it came to cars, and he just couldn't find one that he liked, so he decided to create his dream car. The result? The iconic Porsche 356, which got its road certification in 1948. Crafted in a humble sawmill in Gmund, Austria, this sleek, stylish, sporty masterpiece heralded a new age for Porsche. One neat feature of the 356 was its rear engine layout. This innovative approach was later adopted in other famous models, like the Volkswagen Beetle and the awe-inspiring Porsche 911. A fun bit of trivia here for you, did you know the 911 was originally called the 901, but when Peugeot claimed they had the exclusive rights to car names with three digits and a zero in the middle, Porsche had to rethink. That's how we got the globally recognized 911. Pretty interesting, right? Anyway, while the 356 was making waves in the consumer car market, a leaner, meaner version, the 356 SL, was tearing up the racetrack. After clinching a win at the 1951 Le Mans 24-hour race, Porsche was officially a big shot in motorsports. In the years that followed, they continued to dominate, maintaining a reputation they still hold to this day. So here's to Porsche, a true game-changer in the world of cars. In the years that followed, Porsche continued to set the racing world alight. Picture the late 60s, with the beastly Porsche 917 entering the scene. Engineered to perfection, this powerhouse raced its way to victory in the demanding 24 hours of Daytona and brought home the gold for Porsche in the 1970 and 1971 Le Mans races. These wins put Porsche right at the top of the motorsports world, a position they've been owning like a boss ever since. Come the 80s, and Porsche wasn't about to take their foot off the gas. On the contrary, they blew the lid off the racing scene with the jaw-dropping Porsche 956. This was far more than just a car, it was a masterclass in engineering. With its game-changing aerodynamics and the double whammy of the dual-clutch PDK transmission, it was a sight to behold and a force to be reckoned with. Owning the Le Mans throughout the 80s, the 956 and its successor, the 962, turned Porsche into the undisputed king of endurance racing. Like that cool kid in high school who was always a step ahead and set all the trends, Porsche proved over and over that they weren't just in the race, they were leading it. Shift into high gear and let's speed forward to the present day. 
Porsche isn't just that sporty car brand that leaves everyone else in the dust on the racetrack. Oh no 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 no, they've grown into an empire, producing a smorgasbord of high performance vehicles that have us all drooling. Their fleet includes the Bad Boy 911, the suave and sporty duo of the 718 Boxster and Cayman, the ritzy Panamera, and let's not forget about their muscular SUVs, the Macan and Cayenne. But Porsche didn't stop there, oh no, they plugged into the electric trend with the Taycan, a totally electric, groundbreaking ride that's turning heads. One of the cool things about Porsche isn't just the sleek design or the throaty growl of the engine, it's the fact that they build these beauties to last. Classic Porsches maintain their charm like a fine wine, simply getting better with age. Some have even fetched astronomical prices at auctions, like the Porsche 956, which got snapped up for a mind-blowing $10,120,000 in 2015. Another thing to appreciate about Porsche is their attention to detail, especially when it comes to their logo. The prancing horse at the center is a tip of the hat to Stuttgart's coat of arms, the place where it all began for Porsche. Another fun fact, that same prancing horse can also be spotted on the Ferrari logo. This shared emblem ties together two of the biggest names in the car world. When it comes to racing, Porsche's been there, done that, and got more than 24,000 trophies to prove it. They've chalked up wins in countless categories, showing they're not just about making fast cars, they're all about creating exceptional machines that truly capture the spirit of racing. Just when you think Porsche might finally hit the brakes for a breather, they slam the pedal to the metal, going full throttle. Porsche has been setting the pace, and they've got their eyes set on an electrifying goal. By 2030, they're planning to have 80% of their cars running on electric power. This isn't just a statement about embracing a sustainable future, it's a testament to their ability to stay at the forefront of innovation. And the best part? They're achieving this without sacrificing a single ounce of the raw performance that makes a Porsche, well, a Porsche. Porsche's commitment to break barriers and push limits is on full display with their recent unveiling of the 2023 Porsche 911 GT3. This beast on wheels is a testament to Porsche's unending quest for speed, performance and total driver satisfaction. It just goes to show, Porsche's passion for perfection is as alive today as it was back in 1931. But wait, there's more! Not only are they speeding towards an electric future, but Porsche is also forging new paths with the unveiling of their futuristic Mission X concept car. This machine isn't just a step into the future, it's a quantum leap. The Mission X is the embodiment of Porsche's vision, an ambitious melding of extreme performance, luxury and sustainability. Just picture a car that has the fierce soul of a race car and the eco-friendly heart of an electric vehicle. That's what the Mission X brings to the table. Its aerodynamic design, inspired by Porsche's rich racing heritage, promises breathtaking speed and agility on the track. But it isn't just about the rush of adrenaline. The Mission X is equally committed to preserving our planet, boasting an advanced electric powertrain and a range that has the industry buzzing. And the cherry on top? This concept car flaunts a slew of high-tech features. Think along the lines of an intelligent driver assistance system, customizable holographic displays, and seamless connectivity features that take comfort and convenience to the next level. So as we look forward to a more sustainable future, it's evident that Porsche isn't just rolling with the changes, they're driving them. Their impressive plans for electric conversion and the futuristic Mission X concept car are clear signs that Porsche is still committed to innovation, pushing boundaries, and above all else, delivering breathtaking performance. One thing's for sure, Porsche's vision of the future sure looks thrilling. And that's a wrap on our high-octane journey into the world of Porsche, a testament to automotive innovation, resilience, and unrelenting pursuit of perfection. If you've enjoyed this thrilling ride, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Here at Ignition Life, we're dedicated to celebrating the exhilarating world of cars. Keep those engines revving, and remember, life's too short to drive boring cars. Until next time, keep fueling your passion for the extraordinary, and remember, Every ignition sparks a journey.